Good morning, Sarah. Thank you for meeting me here today. As I mentioned last week, my name is Jackie. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm a nurse practitioner here at the Toronto Health Center. Last week, we did some tests to investigate possible causes of your abnormal vaginal discharge and dysuria. I have your test results. Do you have any questions for me so far? No questions. I just, I want to know the results of my tests. Yes. We'll review those together. Would you like to know the results of all of your tests? Yes, please. So you're negative for urinary tract infection. You're also negative for bacterial vaginosis, trichomonas, or a yeast infection. You're also not pregnant. That is a good thing. However, one of the results did come back positive. Your vaginal swab was positive for one of the sexually transmitted infections known as chlamydia. What can you tell me of your understanding of chlamydia? Uh... Uh, I have a sexually transmitted infection. Okay, um, I mean, I've heard the word chlamydia before from friends and on social media. I know it's a bad STI, that's, that's about all I know. Would you like me to tell you more about chlamydia? Yes, please. What would you like to know about chlamydia? I mean, tell me everything. Is it treatable? Is it going to negatively affect my health and give me severe health problems? Like, can I even still have kids? Um, do I need to tell my boyfriend about this? Or, oh my God, do I need to tell my parents about this? Oh my God, my parents are going to lose it. Um, I don't know how this happened. Here. Thank you. I know this is difficult to hear. I want you to know that myself and the team here at the Toronto Health Center will do everything in our power to support you and answer all of your questions and concerns. Okay? So chlamydia is one of the most common STIs in Canada that can be transmitted through vaginal, anal, oral sex, as well as during childbirth. If it's treated right away, chlamydia does not cause any problems. However, if it is left untreated, it can lead to serious infections and negative health complications, as well as infertility. Thankfully, you came to us shortly after you noticed your symptoms, so we can treat chlamydia right away with antibiotics and prevent these serious complications. So from reviewing your health history, it is possible that you've contracted chlamydia from unprotected intercourse with your partner. Therefore, it is really important to contact your partner and any of your previous sexual partners within the span of past 60 days from your onset of symptoms. Public health does need to know about chlamydia. It is a reportable disease. They will follow up with you and your partner. I assure you that this is a confidential process and no names will be mentioned. In terms of telling your parents, that is entirely up to you. If you're not comfortable, let me know and I can do that on your behalf, but only with your permission. You can let me know what you're most comfortable with and whatever you decide. I know I just told you a lot of information, and it may seem overwhelming. Is there anything that I mentioned that you need further clarification on? Is there any questions that I can help clarify? Um, uh, what antibiotics uh, do I need to take and for how long? And um, also, do I need to tell my boyfriend or could maybe someone do that for me? I'm just, I'm scared to do it on my own. I'm just, I'm so mad at myself. I knew we should have worn condoms. I don't know. One of the preferred antibiotics is called azithromycin. It is a single dose that you'll have to take. Common side effects include nausea and diarrhea. In regards to telling your partner, if you do not want to, public health nurse can contact your partner instead. You just need to let me know. I know the situation must be very difficult for you to hear. When you're more comfortable, we can set up an appointment to discuss safer sex practices to prevent future STIs and infection. Luckily, this can be treated very easily to prevent any further complications. Is there any further questions that I can help answer or clarify? Uh, no, I understand. Sarah, I'm going to provide you with some written information about chlamydia and its treatment for you to refer back to. It covers the topics we discussed today during our appointment. We also discussed telling your partner and your parents recognizing you do not need to tell your partner if you're not comfortable, and you do not have to tell your parents. That decision is entirely up to you. They can be notified by public health. 
In terms of fertility, based on your physical exam, I do not have any suspicion that you have a serious infection of your reproductive organs, otherwise known as pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID for short, which is a good sign, and likely your fertility will be preserved. However, if you do have symptoms such as severe pelvic pain, fever, nausea, or you continue to have the discharge from the vagina and a dysuria, please come back to the health center. We'll set up an appointment and we'll do a further assessment. Any questions or concerns so far? Uh, no, I'm, I'm feeling a little more at ease now. I uh, just, what are the next steps? Public health provides the medication. We have it here at the clinic. I'll give it to you in just a minute. For seven days after taking the antibiotic, please do not engage in sexual activities to let your body rest and heal, as well as to prevent the further spread of any STIs. Once you resume sexual intercourse, I strongly encourage you and your partner to use condoms, as this is the best way to prevent STIs. In addition, how do you feel about the possibility of pregnancy right now? I am not at all ready to be pregnant at this stage in my life. I, I just couldn't handle it. I mean, I'm still trying to navigate my career and, and figure out my life. No problem. I only ask because just using condoms has a failure rate of 18 to 21 percent. Whereas other birth control methods such as the pill or IUDs have a much lower failure rate and are more effective at pregnancy prevention. You can go home and think about this more if you'd like. And when you're ready, you can come back to the health center and we can talk about the options that are available to you. Yeah, um, that would be great. Thank you so much. In addition, to ensure the chlamydia infection is resolved and you're not reinfected, I'm going to set up an appointment for you in three months' time to get you tested again. This can be done through a urine sample or a self-obtained vaginal swab. That is entirely up to you. Would that be okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So once the results come back, I will contact you by phone and we will discuss them. Additionally, I'd like to follow up with you with a phone call this Saturday just to see how you're doing and to assess your symptoms. Would that be okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine too, yeah. Do you have any further questions or concerns about the treatment plan or anything we discussed today? Um, no, thank you. Thank you so much. I think I understand. If you think of any other questions once you go home, please call the clinic and we'll talk about it. I know it was hard for you to hear the news, but I just wanted to let you know that you have made a good decision to come and get tested and treated today.